In this problem, we're told microwave ovens rotate at a rate of about 6 revolutions per minute. What is this in revolutions per second? And what is the angular velocity in radians per second? So what we have here is this microwave oven. It's going to rotate with an angular velocity of 6 revolutions per minute. And so what we're going to be converting it is revolutions per second and then into radians per second. So let's just start with A. So we have 6 revolutions per minute. And what we want to do is put it in revolutions per second. So what we need to do is convert the minute into seconds. So the way we do that is we know one minute is the same is equal to 60 seconds. So one minute equals 60 seconds. So all you got to do is just cancel it like this. So basically you're multiplying by one over 60. That's going to cancel out the minute here and the minute here. And you're just going to have it in revolutions over seconds, which is what we want. So really it's just six times one over 60, which is basically the same thing as six over 60. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get it equals 0.1. And then we have revolutions per second. So revolutions per second. So your answer to A is just going to be 0.1 revolutions per second. Now let's move on to B. So for B, we're going to convert the angular velocity into radians per second. So 6 revolutions per minute. And we want to convert it into radians per second. So to get rid of the minute, we do the same thing we did last time. So 1 minute is 60 seconds. So now we have it in revolutions per second, but we want it in radians per second. So we have to convert from revolutions into radians. So you need to know that 1 revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. So this is the conversion from revolutions to radians. So to get rid of the revolutions, we put it on the bottom, one revolution, that'll cancel it from the top, and then two pi radians on top. And then you're just going to have it in radians per second, which is what we want. So you just want to do six uh, times one over 60 times two pi. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals point or about 0.628. So about 0.628, and then it's going to be in radians per second because we have radians per second. So your answer to B is going to be 0.628 radians per second. That's going to be the angular velocity uh, right in these correct units. So these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.